Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash pro revenge. First, let's play r slash drunk or a kid. User Catching Rays posted this one. Fell down the stairs and pissed in my powder blue rented tux. What do we think? Drunk or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. This story was posted by Ike09161995. Mess with minors in my job? Lose your job and you're a boyfriend. Hey folks, first post in here, hopefully it fits. Throw away because some folks in the story may know my Reddit. So you know, safety and all. Too long didn't read at the end because this is a doozy. Alright, circa 2014 I worked for a large movie theatre chain in a small midwestern city. Job was pretty awesome outside of the shit pay and essentially no way to move up. I like to think I'm good at my job and I try my hardest no matter where I work. In this particular situation, I was one of the most tenured employees at the theatre, save for two other folks who had worked there part-time on the side and had full-time jobs elsewhere. So for the sake of the story, I need to tell you about Jane, not actual name. Jane started working for the theatre two months before me. She'd worked elsewhere as a supervisor and was looking to move up at the theatre. Right after I started, one of the managers left to work at a different theatre and the supervisor moved up. We had two managers, our general manager, basically the highest level at the theatre, and a supervisor, which is a manager in training. This is important. Jane somehow got the supervisor position even though there was another person who essentially was promised the position due to their continued service at the theatre for almost eight years. There were rumours about Jane sleeping with the general manager when she started, and this situation got them going again. I didn't care too much because why would I? I am but a lowly peon in the corporate machine. Anyways, Jane moved up and the tenured crew member left the company because they got screwed over. Once Jane moved up, we had a whole meeting about her moving up and how the theatre focuses on professionalism and ensuring no favouritism was happening, specifically referencing how normal crew members shouldn't fraternise outside of work with management. Jane didn't really listen to that though. She continued to hang out with the crew members who were mostly underage and would do various things like go drinking with minors, taking them to bars and buying them drinks, or simply buying alcohol at a store and letting them drink at her house. I honestly have no issue with the drinking at home deal, just added context. As well, smoke weed with them and post pictures on Instagram. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Jane had a secret Instagram where they would post pictures of themselves with their friends from the theatre. They chose Instagram because none of their family or their boyfriend used Instagram and no one would know, right? Even more damning was her relationship with a 19 year old that worked at the theatre. She had a boyfriend who had been with her for years and honestly supported her for all intents and purposes. Not only did she have a 19 year old side piece, but was also messing around with a 17 year old. I even caught them messing around in the break room one time. She essentially threatened me with my job if I told anyone. Honestly, she could have just told me to please be quiet and I would have just judged her silently. Fast forward about a year or so and another one of the managers left for a new job. Jane obviously moved up and someone else took the supervisor position. Now, I won't go into too much detail but despite my tenure and performance, I was looked over for the promotion. A newer crew member who was really good friends with Jane got the position over me. That was confirmed by the other manager who let me know that Jane was definitely in good with the GM who ultimately made the final decision. That being said, I was beginning to sour and making minimum wage for years at a job that couldn't give a shit about my efforts and continued performance. That being said, I was preparing for an exit. Before I get into my exit, it is important to note that Jane had, and most likely still has, a problem with me. I have talked about some issues I had with her. But I never escalated or even confronted her about anything she did to me up to this point. I honestly left it be. But I didn't like her and the fact I didn't like her or play along with her bullshit infuriated her. So much to the point where she made my life hell at the theatre. When she was a supervisor, she didn't have much power. But when she became manager, she began giving me shit shifts. Convincing people that I was weird and to avoid me. I mean, I am weird, but not like, avoid me weird. Threatening me physically, threatening my job, her and her gang of misfit assholes also slashed my tyres. I have no solid proof, but my car was parked in the employee lot 
and you know only employees can get in beyond that she also made fun of my girlfriend my now wife for having an invisible illness ms she would make her life hell because she had a disability and had some minor limitations add together all of this plus my girlfriend went off to college plus getting looked over for the promotion suffice to say i found a new job i had a few close friends at the theater including my now wife who i met while working there silver lining right I had let a few of them know about the new job but told them to keep it on the down low since it was still two weeks away. I put my two weeks notice in with the GM and asked that he also keep it on the down low since Jane and her posse would fuck with me. I told him that I wanted to tell everyone myself so it kept him quiet. Now the important thing about my new job is that it has essentially paid me double my wages from the theatre. All of my friends were stoked for me. I was taking a job that would also have me making more than the managers at the theatre, but also a job that put me on a better track in life. That being said, with Jane and I butting heads on multiple occasions and her track record for messing with me, she decided to get one last attack on me. She started a rumour that I was just going to call out on all of my shifts the two weeks before my new job started. With her last act of revenge in motion, the GM approached me and let me know that he wouldn't be scheduling me the last two weeks. I tried to explain to him that the rumours were bullshit, that I needed to work because it would be my only source of income. I told him that Jane started the rumour and I started to tell him all the other stuff as well. He of course didn't believe me and told me that Jane wouldn't do what I was saying she would do. So it was her word versus mine. I contacted my new job who let me know that my start date was firm and that their budget wouldn't allow me to start until two weeks later as originally planned. Now here I am essentially jobless for two weeks. Now I was upset but I was also lucky. I was still living with family and didn't have to pay rent so I sucked it up and essentially told myself that I would just take a forced two week vacation. But Jane didn't stop there. She escalated again by having one of her cronies call my new job and tell them I got fired. I was luckily able to talk down my new boss by letting him know that this wasn't the case, that I had put my two weeks in at everything else, but that was the last straw. I left my last day at the theatre, and while it was sad and I was upset that I wouldn't be able to work out the last two weeks of my job that I had had for years, I was focused and determined on revenge. Rule number one of living a secret life and having a secret Instagram is not add everybody and their mothers to the page. I had a friend of a friend who also didn't care for Jane. Let's call them Joe. Joe and I had gone to high school together and briefly worked at the theatre together. He and Jane were part of the same group at the theatre until they had a small falling out. Nothing crazy, but he wasn't exactly happy with her. I talked to Joe and we discussed my issues with Jane over some lunch that I bought for him. Food is the key to all revenge plots. Once we ate and discussed my problem with Jane, I asked for his help. I needed access to her Instagram. You know, the secret one? Showing her hanging out with underage employees, drinking alcohol and smoking weed with them, and also some mushy posts about her 19-year-old boyfriend, as well as some moderately racy photos with her 17-year-old fling. With very little discussion, he gave me full access. I took screenshots of essentially everything. We are talking two to three years worth of illicit and moderately illegal activity. More than enough to get her fired and to raise some questions in her relationship. I took the screenshots and I printed them on the most high quality paper material that CVS has to offer. I also copied them to a few flash drives for good measure. I purchased two yellow padded envelopes, can never be too safe, and I filled them both with copies of all the posts as well as a flash drive with additional copies. As well, I included a note in each one for the appropriate parties. One of the envelopes was taped to the back door of the theatre. There was somewhat of a blind spot, so pulled into the parking lot from the rear and snuck around the corner, Mission Impossible style, to tape the envelope to the back door. On it was the general manager's name. As well, in the letter, I merely stated that one of their managers had a secret Instagram with a lot of damning evidence of not only favouritism, but also fraternising with underage employees amongst other wrongdoings. In the letter, I also requested her immediate termination or the information would be provided to the district manager as well as our corporate office. I made sure to put it somewhere the general manager would see on his morning sweep when he opened the theatre. 
The second folder and letter was delivered to her home by Jo. Jo agreed to this as I knew Jane's schedule and had a good idea of when she'd be gone and he knew where she lived from previous hangouts. With both folders delivered, it was only a matter of time. Before I knew it, I was receiving death threats from Jane's gang, all of them saying that they knew it was me and that Jane was going to come after me, that she never did anything to deserve this. It didn't matter to me, of course. I no longer worked there and would hopefully never have to deal with them again. From what I heard, she was taken into the main office of the theatre and the general manager let her have it. He ultimately had to fire her because there was clear proof that she was in direct violation of many of the rules and conditions of her employment. As well, her boyfriend, with proof in hand, kicked her out of his home. Last I heard, she moved farther north and hasn't held down a solid job since. Her family didn't want much to do with her once everything came out with her cheating on her boyfriend. Also, the part about fooling around with a 17-year-old tends not to sit well. In the end, I started my new job without fail and moved on from that place. Haven't seen much of anyone from there since. Too long, didn't read. Manager makes my life hell, continues to hang out and fool around with underage crew members, lives to regret it. Enjoy losing your job and your boyfriend. Down in the comments, Alex2259 had this to say. She sounds like a narcissist who's used to getting her way. I've known people like that, but never as bad. Good riddance. Boyfriend, job and living arrangements all nuked. Those pictures might as well have been weapon grade uranium. What a horrible bully of a woman. I think people like that must have something wrong in their brains. Okay, back to r slash drunk or a kid. So, was the person who fell down and peed themselves a drunk or a kid? It, in fact, was... Both. I was nine years old at my aunt's wedding in the 1970s. I was eating the maraschino cherries out of the abandoned drinks. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you've heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.